Welcome back now to some politics and politicians continued to trade barbs ahead of the release of the Building Bridges Initiative report slated for Tuesday next week. Now leaders allied to Deputy President William Ruto insisted it should address the immediate development needs of Kenyans while those supporting it accused their counterparts of sowing seeds of discord. Chemutai Goin reports. Anxiety and suspicion continue to surround the pending release of the Building Bridges Initiative Task Force report, but lines drawn across the political divide. Sisi wote tunataka kwa heshima, tujadiliane kama wa Kenya, tutafute sunufu ya yale mambo ambayo ni changamoto kwetu, tukipereka taifa letu mbele. Na ya muhimu kwa haya mambo, ni mambo ya maendeleo ya taifa letu na Kenya. Kama tutatekelezea akina Raila viti na wengine ni sawa tutawatekelezea. Kabla hatu chatekelezea hao viti yao, kazi ya vijana na wasichana kilewe ndani. Kama ungekua na maoni mzuri, kwa nini hukuenda huko utoe maoni yako? Iyo ripoti wanaleta Orange House ama wanapeleka State House. Inaenda State House ama inakuja Orange House. Kwa hivyo Deputy President, kama huko na shida na BBI, Chukua weo ndugu yake wakati moja mulikuwa munavaa ties na fanana. Wee peleka mambo huko muulize hiki tuilitoka wapi. Wacha kusumbua sisi. And the exchanges continued from one political gathering to another. Ukiona mtu anasema ati anangoja kusoma ujue uyo mtu ameogopa maswala ya corruption itamfunga kwa hiyo ripoti ya BBI. Tunasikia wameanza kuita watu 20,000 kila county ati wana endorse BBI. We want to tell them that Kenya is bigger than 20,000 representatives in every single county. Kama unaona you cannot support your president. And the best thing to do just hand hand in your resignation. Tuko na watu wanaweza kuwa deputy. Ukisikia mtu anasema kwamba tunangoja ripoti Ndiyo tujue cha kufanya. Unajua huyo ni mtu wa kupinga BBI. The politicians should just be sober enough and vote for what is best for our country. Not personal interest, but what is good for now and posterity as a country. Bungoma Senator Moses Otangula imploring President Kenyatta to make the handover an all-inclusive ceremony for politicians, religious leaders and all Kenyans. Then they should now take this opportunity to disabuse uh, the the naysayers of this country that BBI is about uh, himself and the former prime minister and show statesmanship and leadership that indeed BBI is about the people of Kenya. When announcing the completion of the report, task force officials said they had to order all the 47 counties, sample the views of 7,000 Kenyans and finalize the report on October 23rd. The only way to end electoral violence is a recommendation that Raila Odinga should exit from Kenyan politics. Sources within the task force hinted that among the proposals is an expanded executive with a president, a deputy president, a prime minister and two deputy prime ministers. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV, Nairobi.